Right guys, welcome back to the channel today. Today we've got a scene on the channel. Hello. Right. Uh, today we've got a few little bits to do. I'm going to let Xena explain exactly what we're going to be doing today. So over to you. Yeah, I've had these bits sitting around for a while. And um, yeah, so today Vinny is going to install a SciTech fuel pump. It's the 340 litre per hour, I believe they call it. Yeah. From Courtney Sport. Um, R&D inline fuel filter kit from yep. R&D Motorsport, obviously. Yeah. Hopefully we'll do the gear cables as well. They've been new. here. They've been on the to-do list for, for ages. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then uh, JJC Race and Rally two and a half inch tubing yeah. to run from the Sprogly Motorsport uh, fog light delete. So we'll actually make them functional to yeah. cool down the uh, brakes at the front. So yeah, as, as you're saying guys, that's what we're going to be doing today. So we've got lots on. We're going to first start off with doing the fuel filter inside the vector tank. Show you how to cut out the filter. People like having them cut out, but some people leave them in there. I've left them in there before. They're good for up to 500 brakes. So yeah, it all depends on how you want it done. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to crack over, get the rest of the car stripped out get the fuel pump out and crack on with the rest. tank um, with the screwdriver I'm going to show you there's a tab down here uh, down the side you've got to pull them back and get them out from the clip and there's one around this side you probably won't see it and there's one around the back here as well Now, as you can see, there's the clips. You have four of them. So you have one here, one on this side, one there, and one at the back there. That one is the most fiddly. So if you can undo that one first, and then come around to this, that one, and then that one, to so unclip them. This clip here, push that out, and on the same, if I push that out of the way, you probably won't see it too well, but this one here, Get that clip out, this comes out and then takes the pump out. So then this tube here, it goes. This pipe here stays in the tank and we just put that down into there. That's gonna be the return. And then you've got the pump one, which is gonna come from this one here and go on to there. So right, we're gonna crack on and get all the bits out. Everything's all done. As you can see, the outlet, I've put a Jubilee clip on there. Just It's okay, but I've, I always put a Jubilee clip on just for a bit of extra safety. But as you can see, that is for the outlet. And then you've got the inlet, which is the return. Just comes back down here. I've cable tied it 
into there and obviously you've got the hole there so it can still uh, circulate through. So everything's all done, let's get it back in the car now. Now we're on to doing the inline filter. Um, normal location we put it in is down here, but obviously the TIGWORTS uh, gearbox breather is there. So the way around it is, as you can see where it sits, we're gonna turn the brackets around. Um, and then once to turn the brackets around, uh, it should be on the opposite side and it should go basically like that and out of the way as you can see so if you do come across that problem you probably will work it out yourself but yeah that's basically what you do just turn the clips around to face the opposite way right guys that's the filter all done the brackets all in there properly uh, got all the ends on there now when you're doing these ends uh, the fittings be reminded to use a bit of PTFE tape uh, on the uh, threads basically just to make sure they don't leak but obviously that's the inlet the inlet pipe um, uh, fuel that will go to this one and then the out will come out of there out of this hose like that and that will go into there basically so right we're going to crack on and get the rest done Right guys, run out a little bit of time, so the gear cables, what we was expecting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were getting bored, mate. I've had enough working on his car. After today, I'm moving garage and that's it. Never working on his car again. But no, no, seriously, uh, we've run out of time. Um, the gear cables, we, we haven't done yet, and the... Fog light tubing. That's it, yeah. yeah. So we've got that next. That'll be on another video, so we'll do another video of that. But we've done the in-tank fuel pump, we've removed the filter from the tank, and we've put the external one on. We'll just show you the back piece is all back together, basically, so that's all done nicely and tidy. Uh, going on to the front M now. Minus the, minus the boxes I put in there. Yeah, minus the boxes and that. If I can get another torch, yeah. Right. Shed some light on the situation. That's it. Uh, you probably won't be able to see it too well. But yeah, there's the filter nicely tucked away under there. We have run it and checked for any leaks and that. There's no leaks apart from one. We're going to leave that. I'm not telling him about it. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's all done. It's all tested. It's all back to normal. All running nice. So the test he's going to do on the way home, make sure it's all okay and he will be back so, right that's it that's from me and Zena. uh we'll catch you on the next one yeah hope you all enjoyed it don't forget to smack the like and subscribe button leave a comment let us know if it's something you want done and uh yeah hope you all enjoy yourself see you all soon see ya see ya